Welcome to my Newmar 2021 New Air Diesel Pusher. Uh, thanks for coming to Trans West today. I'm excited to show you this coach. Uh, Newmar has done some amazing things in uh, their production cycle since 1968. But one thing that they recognize in the marketplace is the need for a short coach. Um, the Class A gets you into a lot of parks, um, but the size gets you into a lot more places. So this is a 35 foot diesel pusher. It's really exciting, um, very cl uh, closely equipped to the mountain air. Uh, in terms of fit and finish. Uh, one of the most exciting aspects of this coach is, first of all, this is a Freightliner chassis. Uh, this has got an 8.9 liter Cummins engine. Uh, it boasts two, I'm sorry, <laughs> 1,250 foot pounds of torque. So a lot of pulling capacity. It's got a 10,000 pound uh, tow hitch. So you can pull a lot of things with you, not just a car, you could have a trailer, anything else that you might wanna bring with you on your trip. Um, but more importantly, it's not only available in the Freightliner chassis, this year the 35 foot um, New Air, which is now available uh, in three different floor plans, is also available on a Spartan chassis, so that's new for us too. This is the Freightliner chassis we're on today. Of course, we all know that the Freightliner uh, is an amazing chassis. We've got a lot of locations that work with them. Uh, really nice uh, driving system. And one of the things that makes this coach so nice is that not only do you have a lot of power and a lot of uh, performance, but you also have a really amazing living space. It's very luxurious. Uh, we'll start off today in the back of the coach in the bedroom. So keep in mind in this living space, not only do you have a king size bed uh, with a sleep number, you've also got a remote control so both parties can be happy. You also have some really nice nuances, which is uh, you'll notice I've got this cabinet open up top that's just to show you the controls for the shade that you see outside of the window here. The window behind the bed is a big deal. It's something that you don't find in all coaches. Uh, not only is it an emergency glass where you can escape if there was a fire, for instance, it's also got a screen on it, so you've got additional ventilation beyond the two windows on either side. You also notice that you have nightstands on either side with really good ports for charging things and storage. So if you've got a book you wanna keep, maybe you wanna keep a water bottle there while you're driving, um, when you get to your resting location, you always have it there handy. Everything's kind of set up for you in this coach. Uh, we were talking earlier about the nice uh, lattice that you see here. This decorative lattice covers your rear AC. Even though this is a little 35 foot coach, it still has a really amazing air conditioning system. It's very comfortable in here right now. Uh, and then we're gonna go to the back. So you'll notice Numar always gives us a safe. And there's two extra chairs here. The table setup is already for four. If there's two leaves that extend and it gives you the capacity for up to six people. So if you're entertaining guests, you can still have a nice dinner party. And then also you've got a shoe rack back here and a ton of wardrobe space. So this is a Splendide. Um, it's a really nice washer and dryer system. Um, it's great for taking on the road. It also allows you to take less stuff because you can wash as you go. Um, and if you have a lot of things that you do want to take with you, you've got really deep drawers. Uh, there's six of them, so a ton of capacity, especially for a couple. Um, of course, you've got your main control system for your TV. Uh, remote controls, highly recommend you label those. There's a lot throughout the coach. You've got the television here as well as one in the front and another outside. And then once again, uh, of course you've got the power shades, uh, but you've got this day shade, which is great to keep the coach nice and cool. And there's the control on the inside there. For the awning, window awning? For the window awning outside, yeah. And then I think we'll go down the hallway now and take a look at our restroom. So very spacious master bath. Uh, one of my favorite things about this, um, not only do, are they doing all tile this year on the floor and the surrounding walls, but they gave you these great little dispensers. Um, if you've been on the road before, you know how handy it is to have something to put your conditioner in so you don't have to store it. So pretty happy about that. And then of course we've got our nice toilet with our emergency door and Numar trait. A little towel rack, place to hang your robe. And then I told uh, Cherish earlier, this is a COVID sensitive coach. It's got a uh, button for your potty that you just wave your hand in front of. You don't have to even have to touch it. Um, and then I love the backlit mirror. So extra light is always good. 
lots of outlets, beautiful tile. It's a really nice restroom. Okay, so here we are at the pantry. Uh, new this year. Oh, just real quick before we go. If you do want some privacy while you're making breakfast, you're welcome to close off your really attractive uh, residential style door here. The pocket door. Um, and new this year, we don't have a lock up top any longer. We've got a really strong magnet and then it's a push release for these drawers. So this is a nice change for us. Um, it allows you not to have a locking mechanism. It also gives you a nice sturdy uh, lock for the drawers. And then they're all adjustable shelves. So if you're putting cereal boxes in there or the like, you can change how much stuff you're putting in there. Yeah, they're absolutely full extension. They're really, really, really deep. Yeah, a lot of capacity and really easy to access. And you can take them out. So if you don't want to have as many, you don't have to have as many, but you've got more than enough to start off with. Uh, so this Samsung refrigerator is pretty spectacular. Lots of storage capacity. One of my favorite things about this one is it's got a cheese drawer down below. For me, I'm a really fit, big fan of soft cheeses, so just a nice place to keep any kind of deli meats. Um, lots of room, of course, with a humidity control. And then adjustable shelves. These are all adjustable, so depending on what you're carrying with you. For me, I just need enough room for Prosecco. It'll be all right. Pretty nice. And then I will show you the freezer. So you've got an ice maker, and then you've got a ton of storage space in here. Now, I have these little freezing cups that I would keep in here because I've got a whole Dometic outside for my meat and chicken and things like that. But this is a really, really nice refrigerator. And then I love Numar's little soft touches like this lock, which is integrated into the refrigerator so it doesn't stand out. I mean, you really just feel like you're at home, um, except for the fact that you're waking up in a beautiful forest in a different place every day of the week. So. Uh, note here, we've got a 30-inch uh, Whirlpool. This is going to be an induction and microwave oven. Uh, so plenty of room to cook. Um, if you want to see inside here, little things that matter to me. I love the fact that I've got a shelf in there. So if I want to make cookies, for instance, I can put them up a little bit higher. If I want to microwave, I've got plenty of room to warm things up. And then when I get done cooking, I can do dishes. And I also have a great place to stow my pots and pans while I'm on the road. So instead of having to use cabinet space, I can keep everything in the dishwasher. Plenty of room there for my frying pan and a cook pot. Uh, of course, I love all clad. It's also made in Indiana um, and it works really well. The copper core is wonderful on the true induction that we have here. Uh, this true induction is really cool. You can actually take it outside and put it on your uh, patty, on your um, picnic table. Yeah, so you can, you know, fry bacon outside, make the kids some eggs. You don't have to do it in the coach if you don't feel like it. If you do, there is a fan here, so it will allow the ventilation for you. Um, and that brings us to the next part of our kitchen, drawer space. We all know how important all the drawer space is. So after you've labeled all of your remotes and stored them, you've got a nice place to sew lots of frying pan uh, apparatus, like spatulas, uh, wood spoons, things like that. And then just a ton of drawers. And you'll notice these are all soft clothes. So this is a maple, um, a maple drawer. And one of the things that's nice about this is this is a sable maple, and this is in the matte finish. So if you haven't seen this before, it does come in a glossy as well. Um, but I really like the matte, no fingerprints, but really nice, beautiful, dark look. And then once again, Numar is always very conscientious, making things easy to reach. And then not only that, you can't see this, but this is all lined. So you're not gonna have rattles going down the road. Uh, so you normally you'd say, oh goodness, what's underneath here? That must be where you put your trash can. And I'd say, well, you know, normally you would, but actually that's a great place to put frying pans maybe or cooking sheets. And Numar has been very conscientious in giving us a nice little place to keep our trash can. So we actually have a place built in for it. Um, wonderful little section there. And then here we have anything for our sponges, maybe our dish brushes, things along those lines. And you also have a really amazing, super deep stainless steel sink with a residential faucet that has a spray nozzle on it as well. Um, and keep in mind, all of this is powered with an Oasis uh, instant hot water system. So you're gonna have hot water on demand all the time. Uh, so not only for your shower, but for doing your dishes, dishwasher, you're gonna be using warm water immediately. And honestly, if you've got a water source and some, uh, some uh, 50 amp plug-in, you could wash dishes for as long as you felt like it. I don't know if that sounds like a good idea or not. Uh, okay, so this is my favorite part of the coach, the fireplace. 
Um, we were joking earlier, you can put your cocktail glasses down below so that you have more room in your dry bar for your Aperol and anything else that you might have for after dinner aperitifs, for instance. Uh, but so a really nice attribute here, really adding to the homey uh, feeling of this coach. Then you'll notice down at the bottom here, this is part of your central vac, exactly. So that's a sweep place, and then over here you have a place for your hose attachments. So not only does this coach have a dishwasher and central vac, it also has an all electric radiant floor heat. So this coach will be warm in the winter. It's great under the toes. You don't need to put your slippers on when you wake up in the morning. Um, now let's go on to the next uh, part of this coach that's really nice, and then we mentioned it earlier. This is our dining area. So a lot of times people will have friends over, and maybe you don't just have four, or maybe you just want a little extra room. There's two leaves that fold into this and then an extra two chairs. And then when you're done with your meal, we also have the capacity to raise the elevator right here. So we'll just go to the house system and do TV lift up. So a nice place to watch a movie. And I love the cup holders. I think that that's such a classy little touch. Of course, these are full recliners. Um, really neat sconces in this coach. Uh, this is a really high fashion, beautiful, sleek look. So now it's movie time. Yes, absolutely. The Bose soundbar up top, that is a must. Uh, I don't know, you can just really link it into your phone and put on whatever you like to have. A little mood music is always appropriate. Um, once again, our lattice for your second air conditioner. Also some nice little features like reading lights. So if you want to cuddle, cuddle up next to the fireplace at night and read a good book, you can. Uh, and then that's going to bring us down to the front of the coach. So up front here, there's a number of things that are important. I know I mentioned them briefly earlier, but one of the most important things I would say is going to be that you have this really strong 450 horsepower engine. Um, it's a pretty, a pretty spectacular amount of power. Um, your shift is very conveniently located on a stock. You have a full system uh, where you can read all of the different levels on your coach. It's now electric digital, sorry, uh, a little bit different than your old gauges though. And then you'll notice one of my favorite things here is that you have this camera system. So you can kind of take a look and see what's going on all around you. Um, and that's really handy. Uh, also, you'll notice I've got my phone charging up here. But I still have lots of auxiliary put inputs. So if I want to have the radio going for my phone, I can do that there. Power windows. Here's your jack system. Um, one of the things that's really interesting about this coach that I've noticed is over years past, your control center takes up very little space now. Very compact. So it gives you a lot more room for storage capacity. Uh, please note that you do have a WineGuard uh, satellite system as well as the Wi-Fi SkyPro LTE cellular system and router. So that's kind of cool. Uh, this is going to be the control center for your Girard uh, awnings. There's two of them. They're really big. They're outside. They're already set up. And we already have all four, one, four window awnings open as well. So you'll be able to see those. On our way out, we will make note of the fact that we know a lot of people are working these days in their coaches. So there's a nice little workspace here. And then if your job is to watch the Jeep, for instance, behind you while you're trailering it, you have a little camera that you can operate there, as well as navigation system and a place to charge your phone as well. So really well outfitted coach. Um, I love this feature where you've got a really nice screen. Um, one of the other high-end features that you'll notice is that this is a nice little glass covering. Um, so you've got a really uh, durable screen to use when you're parked. So let's go outside now. So we mentioned the Dometic uh, freezer on the inside. So I've already got it pulled out for you today. And it's smart. We've turned it sideways to give you a little extra storage capacity, but lots of room in there. Set your temperature. Lots of uh, room to keep any kind of food you want to bring on your road trip. And then I've got a few things staged for us here below our outdoor entertainment system. Um, 
really generous space. Now keep in mind, we don't have a second slide in here. It's something that you could add. Uh, we do have one power slide though, and I'll show you how that works. So this slide you'll notice has the uh, attachments for your vacuum cleaner and some extra tile on there as well. Yeah, it's got a, it does, it has a thousand pound uh, capacity. And so would the other one if you wanted to install it. It just depends on what your utility is, but it's really nice to have something that can hold that extra weight. It's easy to load. Um, beyond that, Oh yeah, let's talk about awnings. So we saw these from the inside. This is the awning over the kitchen window. This is the four awning package. Um, I think it's really a good spend. Keeps the coach a lot cooler. So if you don't have your big awnings out, your Gerard awnings out, but you still wanna keep the sun from coming into the coach, it's a really great feature. Um, and there's a lot of extra little storage space in here. This is a more shallow bay. But you'll notice you've got extra outlets for outside in case you want to plug something in. Maybe you want to inflate your power or your paddle boards, for instance. Um, all of these uh, compartments are actually uh, lit underneath with LEDs. Well, that one's just gonna. It is a slam shut. I was trying to be dainty. I was trying to be dainty, Cherish. Okay. And then here, again just really nice that these are LED lit. They're also lined. They're going to be soft and free of rattles. So pretty awesome there. Batteries are in this back compartment. And then behind us, once again, we'll look at our 10,000 pound towing capacity hitch. It's already pre-wired. Um, you'll notice there's a camera here. Of course, they're all over the coach. When you turn your left signal on or your right signal on, it does illuminate the left or the right side of the coach. Um, and then here, more awnings and this is that escape window and you can see how nice you have a really large screen on this side um, and then this brings us to our water capacity so there's a lot, a lot of nice things about this coach one of them is not only do you have a 90 gallon pound or 90 gallon diesel tank you also have a 60 gallon gray tank a 40 gallon sewage tank and 105 gallons of fresh water so if you're boondocking or you're not plugged in, you have plenty of time to camp with lots of supplies on hand. Um, I also love the way this is set up. You'll notice that there's a whole house filter here and then a really nice shower head. Um, so if you want to wash something off, once again, paddle boards, maybe you came back from the beach, you just wanted to wash off your feet, you can do it outside of the coach and not bring the dirt into the coach. Over here, you just have the other side of the storage that we saw earlier. And then in this cabinet, we have our Oasis. Um, so the Oasis system in here is not only heating your coach and providing you with hot water, uh, it's a large system. So you get a lot of hot water fast. You can have um, your friends come in and use the coach to clean off after you guys have gone out, sat by the, the campfire, for instance. And then when it's time to leave, you've got an outside attachment for your vacuum cleaner so you can clean things up before you pack up. And when you pull in, it's so nice to have a power hose reel. I know that that sounds silly, but in the winter when they're cold and dirty, it's really nice to have something that just winds up for you. So very, very convenient there. So again, we talked a little bit about the cameras, uh, but in order to have like real true comfort and being able to change lanes, you've got your nice camera system, really big mirrors, really great visibility. And overall, a stunning coach. Uh, the new air is by far, I think, the best value for dollar in the marketplace. Uh, the 35-foot version with 450 foot or 450 horsepower and 1,250 foot-pounds of torque gives you so much that you would want in a, that you get out of a larger coach in a smaller package. More parking, more access to parks, more places to camp. Uh, so please give me a call if you've got any questions. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at Trans Weston Frederick. My number is 303-562-8659. And ask me, ask me if I can give you more information about 5N200-417. That's our stock number. Again, that's 5N200-417. You can find that at transwest.com. We've got four locations and we're always happy to help. And even if you just want to come in and try out the ride of an amazing Numar, 
you're welcome to come in, stop by, see us, let us show you around these wonderful products we have to offer. And thanks so much for watching us today. I really appreciate your time.